Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Leah and you're watching Glamour Gadgets and Gaming by Leah. Whilst everyone is busy talking about and covering the upper end a highly priced branded flagship smartphone, I'm feeling the need to share my thoughts and opinions and facts on the smartphones which are lesser priced yet packed with premium specs and features, beautiful camera output, quality build and powerful performance etc. Yet we know these phones as budget smartphones. Some of these phones are underestimated due to the lesser known brand names, sometimes price and sometimes because of social influence. We sometimes feel we have to have an iPhone, a Google phone or even a Samsung phone just to fit in, even when we may only need it for making calls, mere text messaging or simple browsing. If you are not looking to play highly graphical games, take professional photos and videos etc then why pay hundreds or even thousands of dollars more for a smartphone which you will not use to its full potential. And today I bring to you a smartphone which has been called a clone of the iPhone X and scores very similar to the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 in terms of battery, connectivity, camera, performance, hardware, design and material and the cost effectiveness scoring a very decent anti to benchmark score and 91% screen to body ratio today I bring to you a new budget smartphone which is priced under $150 and is full of very decent specs and features and here it is guys this is the Yuli phone X this phone is priced under $150 and it has a lot to offer now later on in the video I'm going to put this phone to the real test, we'll check out some streaming on YouTube, a bit of gaming, we'll even check out the photo and video quality, some Wi-Fi speed tests and the Antutu benchmark score. And guys I'll even show you where this phone fits in when compared to some of the other budget smartphones currently available, priced under $160. Now guys, let's waste no more time. You check out the specs and the features of this phone on the screen in front of you whilst I get it out the box. Okay guys, so as you can see in the box we have a warranty card, a user manual which is in English, a screen protector, a SIM eject tool, an OTG cable, here we have a USB cable, the EU plug power adapter, so it's a USB power adapter and the Yuli phone X itself. So here you can see it's an all screen phone with dual rear cameras, uh, a 5.85 inch HD screen, a 3300 milliamp battery, 8 core processor, it has face unlock and fingerprint ID, it has a 4 gigabyte RAM and a 64 gigabyte ROM and guys it has Android 8.1 OS. The glass back allows stronger Bluetooth, LTE and Wi-Fi signals. The phone comes in two colours, black and white and I've opted for the white colour because it looks so slick and prestigious. Check out the beautiful glass fibre and aluminium alloy material body. The phone is very simple to set up and takes a couple of seconds to do so. And for navigation we have three on-screen touch buttons. So we've got the back button, the home and the menu button. The phone is running on Android version 8.1 Oreo. We have a beautiful 5.85 inch IPS LCD screen with 275 pixels per inch. We have an 18 by 9 aspect ratio with a resolution of 720 by 1512 HD. The display is beautiful and bright with great contrast and viewing angles. We have a 2.5D curved glass screen which is capacitive and multi-touch. And guys we also have the very controversial notch. 
which I personally don't mind. I wouldn't pay hundreds or thousands of dollars more just to be able to play games or watch videos on a full undistracted screen. The Yuli Phone X is packed with a powerful MediaTek 6763 processor, an octa-core CPU, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, and we also have a micro SD card slot which allows us to expand the memory up to a further 256 gigabytes. And on the back guys we have a dual camera setup. The main camera being a 13 megapixel with a f2.2 aperture. The secondary camera is a 5 megapixel camera. And on the front we have an 8 megapixel selfie camera. So on this side of the phone we have the volume rocker and the power button and here on the left hand side we have a dual sim card tray which can take one nano sim card and one micro sim card or you can have a single sim card and one micro sd card up to 256 gigabytes and here on the top of the phone guys although i would have preferred it at the bottom of the phone as it would have been more convenient ladies and gents i'm pleased to see the much loved and appreciated 3.5 millimeter headphone jack the face unlock and fingerprint ID feature is awesome, it's very speedy and I can unlock my phone with the blink of an eye. So here is the fingerprint sensor. As you can see the phone is locked. See how quick that was. So lock it again, it's locked. That's how quick it is to unlock the phone. The size of the phone guys is around 150 by 73 by 9 millimeters and it weighs around 217 grams. Furthermore, the Uniphone X does support 4G. It's also unlocked with Bluetooth version 4.0 and has a beautiful 3300 milliamp battery. It supports advanced QI wireless charging, which allows 18 watts of fast charging, and once fully charged, will give us around 300 hours of standby time and around 18 hours of talk time. And the optimization is pretty decent and will get us through the day quite nicely. The phone certainly looks and feels very premium and a good contender to the many budget smartphones we have currently in the market. The phone also features GPS, a GPS, GLONASS, a fingerprint sensor, gyroscope, proximity sensor, light sensor, electronic compass, touch sensor. It also features OTG, FM, face unlock. It supports 4G band, 3G and 2G. Now let's put this phone to the real test and see how it handles some HD streaming on YouTube. Check out these clips, impressive picture and sound quality. Picture and sound quality of those videos is very immersive and impressive. I'm looking at it now. Guys, considering this is a budget smartphone and not a powerhouse, let's check out some gaming and see how it handles it.
Wow, that was some decent gaming experience. I had so much fun playing that game there. Now let's check out a few camera samples. So we'll check out some photos and some videos taken with the rear camera. Early morning walk in Osterley Park in West London. So it's Sunday morning, roughly half nine in the morning, and I'm in Osterley Park. So I'm walking and recording this just to give you guys an idea of the stabilization of this phone and its camera. Pretty decent. Well, I really can't tell, but once I put it on my laptop, but from what I can see, the capture is very clear. So now I've stopped walking. Okay, so I'm now going to jog a little just to check out the stabilization of the camera again. Right, I'm gonna jog much. I'm in my, I'm wearing my boots with heels, so it couldn't jog much there. But hopefully that gave you an idea. My hands aren't very stable. I've got, I'm not using a gimbal, um, so the camera is must be moving a lot. But that was just to give you guys an idea. <laughs> oh my day. We're scaring the pigeons away, so And also this selfie camera. Very reasonable picture and video quality. So I've performed some tests on this phone, which include Wi-Fi test, Antutu benchmark score, etc. Now check it out for yourself, guys. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we received a reasonable download speed of 
44.9 megabits per second and an upload speed of 8.92 megabits per second. The Wi-Fi speed overall is pretty reasonable and we received a very decent anti 2 benchmark score of 82,904. So we've received decent Wi-Fi connectivity and a great anti 2 benchmark score. Now, we all know when it comes to comparisons and comparison charts, no one does it better than Chigs Tech Reviews. Chigs is one of the best tech tubers in the UK and the only one who brings us very decent, up-to-date comparison charts. Check these out on his YouTube channel, Chigs Tech Reviews, or even on his website, chigstech.com. Right. So I used Chigs' chart to guide myself and found that the Yuli phone would sit somewhere around number 3 of budget smartphones. Now no product is without flaws and before I wrap up today I just want to share some pros and cons of the Yuli phone X. The pros obviously outweigh the cons and are as follows. Check them out on the screen in front of you. I am impressed with the Yulifone X and its flagship like design similar to the iPhone X. Slim, light in weight and quality build. A very decent bright screen. Clear and loud speakers. Stock Android 8.1. Decent Wi-Fi speeds. Decent Antutu benchmark score. A micro SD expansion up to 256 gigabytes gives us a pretty decent gaming experience the camera quality is pretty reasonable considering the price we're paying for this phone the fingerprint sensor and the face unlock is speedy and very effective it supports qi charge and a decent battery life gives us around one day of battery life around 18 hours on screen time and led notification light so guys we receive led notification light on this now I can't think of many cons guys considering the price I've paid for this phone. I mean the camera is decent, not the best. For example, low light photography isn't so great. There is no NTSC. It's not scratch resistant. It's not waterproof. And we don't have USB charging port. Well guys, what do you expect? Now that's what makes the flagship phone different from the budget smartphones. We pay hundreds and thousands of dollars more so we can have features such as waterproof, NTSC, scratch resistance, USB charging ports, top notch cameras, etc. So, overall, for what we have on this phone, I have no complaints. So, here are my thoughts on the Unifone X, guys. Do let me know what you think in the comment box below. The Unifone X is a beautiful looking smartphone and priced under $160 at the moment. The price is subject to change. This is a beautiful looking phone and has a lot to offer, offering powerful performance and does everything it should and more. For more info, I have left the links for this phone in the description box below for you to check out the specs, features, reviews, etc. And just in case you get tempted to grab one or more for yourselves. And before you go guys, a giveaway. Yes guys, we have a brand new giveaway coming up on the channel. So look out, the link for the giveaway will be left in the description box below this video tomorrow, same time don't forget to enter it will be run via the gleam app and will run for two weeks and the lucky winner will receive a surprise smartphone but i shall not reveal that yet now guys that's me done for now now thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have don't forget to like share and subscribe and turn on that notification bell to notify you of my upcoming videos giveaways etc now till the next one guys take care Bye.